Hi guys, um, so this video is to walk you guys through your first essay assignment. Um, so this one looks at, this one we're going to be looking at the text that you guys read in this unit, which basically take us from post-Civil War up through World War I. You guys read a number of different accounts and voices of what this new quote-unquote American identity looks like in a post-war society. Um, so what you're going to do is choose one of the authors and works that you read in this unit, and you're going to develop a written analysis around that work um, looking at the literary elements specific to that work and then secondarily sort of the historical elements or the biographical elements. So just like I do in the lecture where I break down a piece of, of literature looking at specific literary elements like themes, symbols, motifs, um, uh, irony, whatever it might be, um, you are going to do the exact same thing. So it's kind of a classic uh, literary analysis essay but the secondary part, the, the kind of less important part, but I still want you to kind of think about it, is how the text incorporates or shows specific um, historical issues that were taking place at the time or reflect the author's sort of biography or the issues that were important to them. Um, but the most important thing is that you guys look at this as a piece of literature. Don't let this become a biographical essay. Don't let this become a history essay. This does need to be a literary analysis essay. Um, but you're secondarily going to look at how the author's biography or the historical situation influenced the text. So some things to think about. Think about how the author and work influence or impact social, political, or economic changes happening in America. How do they fit or not fit with this quote-unquote new American identity? Um, how do they help shape these American ideals? Um, how does the author approach the subject matter? Um, uh how does the work achieve a particular social or political goal or message? What are they trying to say and why? Um, and like I said, think about why the text and the author matter. Why is it important that we read and study these texts? Um, but make sure to keep the primary focus on analyzing it as a piece of literature. So you do need to include uh, one research source in your work. That can be... It doesn't have to be scholarly. It can be anything uh, that is credible. So it could be something like PBS or history.com or biography.com. Um, again, probably not Wikipedia. But make sure that you are citing it correctly and it's included in a bibliography. Things that are not credible would be things like gradesaver.com or 123helpme.com. Those uh, should not be the sources that you're using. Try and use um, credible research sources uh, to support your work. So... This should have a clear thesis with main ideas, and then you should expand on those with good evidence from the text and from your outside source. So that means ideally the strongest for forms of evidence are pulling in direct quotes. You can paraphrase as well, but I would highly suggest pulling in direct quotes that show the author, or your audience what you're talking about. So um, use specific words, phrases, or passages to support your claims and expand on those in your own words. So, for example, if I was going to look at something like Kate Chopin and the story of an hour, my thesis would need to be centered on a literary concept. So I would say something like the theme in um, uh, the story of an hour is is uh, a woman's uh, is uh, the struggle against uh, patriarchal institutions of marriage. Um, and then I would bring in my main ideas would be something like. Uh, looking at the function of dialogue in the text, looking at uh, maybe the symbolism of the open window, and then a third uh, uh, main idea could be something like um, the dramatic irony at the end. Um, that would be a good way of kind of framing that argument. And then I would pull in specific quotes that uh, in each of those main ideas, I would make sure to pull in specific quotes that show those things. So, so if I want to talk about the dramatic irony, I would pull in the last sentence as my piece of evidence to show what I'm talking about. And then I would expand on that and explain why it is dramatic irony um, and why that why the author uses that to express this idea of, of women being trapped in marriage and the patriarchy clearly not understanding what's happening. Uh, or why it's a oppressive institution in this case. Um, so that's just an example, but um, that's typically how you would structure this type of essay. Um, so your essay needs to be two to three pages in length, and that's due on Sunday, March 29th at midnight. Remember that everything is checked through safe assign. Um, and this means that you do need to do two pages to the bottom at minimum. You're always welcome to write more. You just can't write less. If you write less, you will have points taken off. 
Um, make sure that you do MLA. So of course, that means a header in the top left corner, a title, page number in the top right. Everything is double spaced. Um, Times New Roman, Cambria, or Arial 12 point font. Um, you have a number of choices here. You have Whitman, Du Bois, Washington, Chopin, and, and Zikalasa to choose from. Um, and uh, make sure that you have good close analysis of the literary work. Again, that's the most important aspect. And it's major concepts. And secondarily, you might look at the author's identity or the historical context. So just like I do in the lectures, primary emphasis should be on analyzing the piece of literature. But say for Chopin, I wanted to bring in a little bit about her biography. I might talk a little bit about how the, the text reflects her own biography, her own understanding of oppressive marriage, an unhappy marriage, um, and how it can, you know, result in um, very difficult uh, social institutions for women, especially given how, how she um, ultimately committed suicide because of the, the oppressive nature of her marriage. Um, something like that. You do need to have good concrete evidence, again, from the primary and secondary sources, proper number of sources, that's one in this case, proper page length, MLA and citations, a fully developed essay structure, like I said, um, and good organization of all your ideas. So make sure you have this kind of clearly organized. Um, there are a, any number of literary elements that you can look at in any of these texts. So I would suggest narrowing your thesis to kind of one sort of overarching element. So for example, in Chopin, that could be the use of symbolism. It could be the characterization. Um, so anything like that would work. And then your main ideas, of course, you're going to want to choose, say, three um, strong literary elements to kind of analyze. So for example, if you look in characterization, you could talk about archetypes, you could talk about the secondary, the major characterization, you could talk about the development. Are they flat? Are they round? Are they dynamic? Are they static? You could look at literary devices like similes, metaphors, irony, fat, uh, for flashbacks, foreshadowing. Um, you could look at dramatic structure. You could look at the dramatic arc, I mean. Um, you could look at the conflict. Is it man versus man, man versus society, man versus self? Um, solution, resolution, denouement. You could look at the POV and the narration. Um, if you want to look at larger literary concepts, you could look at things like themes, symbol, motifs, allusions. Um, and then if you look at the historical context, secondarily, you can think about things like the author's biography, the historical events surrounding the work, the ethical, moral, or social issues being discussed in the text, etc. So if you guys have questions about this, let me know. Um, hopefully you get a chance to... Um, Choose what is of interest to you. That's purposely broad because I want you guys to choose the thing that is interesting to you. The text is interesting. The literary elements that are interesting. Um, it's not a long paper. It's only two pages, but hopefully you have plenty to say. Um, and of course, do let me know if you have any questions as you guys work.